everyone, and welcome back to Beef Reacts. I'm here with my boy, my 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 ward, Ryan Stark. Ward. My ward. I don't know why I'm using your full name. My name is Beef, and your name is Ryan. So hi. Yeah. How you been? Been better. I get that. Yeah. Want to elaborate, or do we just? Uh, I think if they just look at what I'm wearing, they kind of know what happened earlier in the day. <laughs> You're wearing. You're wearing jeans and Crocs. The Crocs were uh, put on afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> and, you're, and you're drinking a Burger King slushy. I didn't get to have a proper breakfast. Now, were the glasses part of the fit, or was it... Or, oh, wow. Wow. Truly, truly a sad occasion. Yep, yep. Yeah, yeah. Well, anyway. Yep. I, yeah, I, well, this is three for three so far, just the intros being something depressing. I don't. It's very unintentional. It's on you. It's this isn't at all on me. It's it's fifty fifty. This is us. Me? I don't say. Listen, I say memes. I fuck around. I find out sometimes, but like I I don't think I'm ever depressing. I try very hard to not be depressing. I I bury that shit down. I I'm I bury it so deep that when I go to therapy, it takes normally four or five sessions until it comes out. Mm. And if it does earlier, it's purely in joke form to where they question you yeah they're like are you really sure you should be laughing about that and i go well what else am i supposed to fucking do cry they're like maybe you should just experience your own emotions and i say that's for fucking pussies and uh yeah that's i'm doing well good so free run demons what are yep. your thoughts hate them um mm -hmm, mm -hmm. they're not real emotional people they, yep. they they lie through their teeth they lie so hard they don't even know what they're saying as we saw don't even know what a father is mm -hmm. normally we can respect a liar mm. i can respect a liar yeah i can't respect them but i can respect them now you're at home you're saying to yourself no one gives a shit you guys are annoying please for the love of god just get to the episode we won't but uh, like, because here's the thing. In this channel, we have a saying, if you get caught in a lie, double down. Correct. Always double down, right? There's... Because mm -hmm. here's the thing. Worst case scenario, you are caught lying. But it's like, it's like, oh, you lied about this little thing. But it's like, if you just double down, you know? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. My standpoint, uh, to the dismay of many partners to the dismay of most people in my life is it's not a lie if it could be true within five minutes i think that that's a very specific scenario but if you can finagle that i think you're in the clear well it's just it's not a lie if it could be true within five minutes yeah right i can't i can't be like oh i weigh 100 i, I weigh 200 pounds i can't lose like 120 pounds in ten, five minutes cut off a limb maybe cut yeah off. yeah but point being is it can't be true within five minutes. That's a lie. That's just that's not that's not a worthy lie. Mm. All right. Not a bad way of looking at it. Yeah, I own mm. that car over there. Don't, but I could. Mm -hmm. And that's and that's the thought process. It's not a lie if it could be true within five minutes. That's how fast that notary works. Yeah, it's not a lie if they believe you. Then yeah, yeah, I, I agree that. I agree <laughs> with that. That's fucked up. <laughs> I mean, they're like, yeah, but, <laughs> but like, I mean, come on. it's not a lie if they believe you. Now, I'm a for I'm a firm believer that you shouldn't lie in general. I do. I really, I really do believe in the truth. You know, truth is best. Honesty is the best policy, as they say. Correct. But like, if you're gonna lie, do it fucking spectacularly. I think there's some moments where people can lie. Like, uh, I bring up one this morning. You know, when someone's on their their deathbed and they say you weren't gonna tell them that they're probably gonna die. You know, you just enjoy the moments. Yeah, it's a good time to lie. I wouldn't lie. You tell them outright you got minutes to live? <laughs> I'd be like, listen up. <coughs> listen up. You see that light? You you fucking run towards it. That's not the lamp. You you run towards that light. <laughs> fucking sprint towards it. And if you hear a familiar voice, lie and say that you've known that voice your whole life. Wow. That it. Wow. <laughs> You're talking about, like, the higher power? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> If you, if, cause here's the thing, here's the thing, you die, there is an, like, if there is an afterlife and it looks at you and they're like, I've never known you, you're fucked, that's game over, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
And it's like, oh, you can't lie to the perfect being. I really think I got it. Yeah, what, they don't know what I'm thinking. Listen, to God, anything could be true within five minutes. So nothing's a lie. You might be stretching it there. Yeah, that's what you think. Now, if God believes you. Uh, if he, God believes a lie you say, does that make it true? It has to, Not right? just some average person. We're talking God. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he'd have to, right? He believes me every time I say I'm never going to do it again. He, he'd honestly believe... I if he told me he believes a lie, I said I'd always I genuinely think maybe it wasn't a lie to begin with. Then yeah, maybe it's truly what my heart wanted. Let's get into the episode. Yeah. We're six minutes in. Listen, we do this because one, we need to have enough time for it to act. Uh, past copyright, because if we do get sued, we want to be able to be like ah, we talk, we commentate. It's not about the show. It's about us. It's about us grieving. <laughs> You're grieving. I'm, oh shit! Free runs talking. What is it? Do you really think the way you dealt with them was unfair? Free run. Do you remember Bazalt's final words before he perished? Well, they're her earrings, huh? Bother. Mm. Their kind only uses Wood. words to deceive. I was gonna say that. I'm happy you said it. Thank you. Um, I just, I'll, I'll bring it up. Um, free run at the age he currently is in this. I don't know. Not not necessarily my cup of tea. Mm. Flama? Woo! 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 She's, ah! got, she's got a good, like, a confident look on her. She's sharp. She looks like she could scold me. And yeah. that's what I want. Yeah. 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 Good leave. Smart girl. They are nothing more than monsters that can imitate the human tongue. I call them demons. And take it from an expert, they are all the same. What do you mean you they call them demons? There. What do you mean they're all the same, Flama? <laughs> There's not one outlier. Not a single one. You know, the exception proves the rule, Flama. <laughs> <laughs> you're just using them as a majority, not just individual. Yeah. What, uh, Flama, are you going to start spouting <laughs> off about demon on demon crime next? <laughs> Oh my god, I don't think we should get into that. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, well, but like, could you imagine? <laughs> Hilarious, yeah. Take their lead and deceive doubly so. If this could be the secret to exterminating their species, then I will gladly embrace the dishonor it entails. Hot. You know, I'm big on honor and shit, you know? I, I always yeah. have been. I've always thought honor is an important thing. Yep. As you know being my friend for such a long time, I like to think I'm an honorable guy. I care a lot about it. It's that Italian in me. It's that machismo. I'd say you maybe have a hint of Japanese in you. I honor. Nah, nah, because their honor is like the type of honor where they'll kill themselves if they, like, ruin it. That's honor. That's not honor. That's my honor. My honor is I'm an honorable man, and then when I betray myself, I lie and make it seem like I've never said that in the first place. Not a very mixed reality of what honor is. <laughs> no, it's the Italian mafia way of honor. It's wow. it's we love our family, we'll do whatever we can for them, and then the mafia boss will just cheat on their wife constantly, and then when they get called on, they're like, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. You're really, you're really digging into the Sopranos. <laughs> I've been loving the Sopranos, bro. Is it Sopranos or Sopranos? Or I mean, it either or. It's probably either or. No. I should know this as a, as a staunch Italian. I think the reason why I genuinely like the show is my dad grew up in Nutley. So, like... I don't know where that is. It's in, it's in like, North Jersey. Oh, so, okay. it's, like, right next to Newark, and it's, like, a suburb, like, right outside of the city. Hmm. So, like, the show constantly is, like... Because it takes place in Newark. It was filmed in Newark. Hmm. It's, like, oh, we're headed to Nutley. We're going here. We're doing this. And it, it, it feels nice because it's, like, when I was a kid going to my grandma's house a lot, I was going to my grandma's house and, like... You know, 2005, 2006, during the time. I like to think to myself, I was like, damn, Lil Matthew was out in those streets. <laughs> <laughs> Lil Matthew was out there. What was he doing? <laughs> is it the, is it actually like, um? <clears throat> I know when people say it takes place, but they'll sometimes shoot like off location. No, no, no. It's all actually there. It, it looks like it's all actually Jersey. Now, there's always the possibility that. Yeah, I mean, a scene or two or whatever. Yeah, there's always possibility, but it does <clears throat> mostly look like it takes place in like Newark, which is cool. Oh, nice. Um, I know this has nothing to do with the show. I apologize, everyone. But, like, I do like it, and that's that's more or less what I mean about honor is just, like, that, that nice Italian honor yeah. of you were honorable until you're caught in a lie, and then you just kind of, you know, you got to be shifty about it. Yeah, you start saying, well, what about you? Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, like you, like someone calls you out on your bullshit and you go, "You got the fucking balls <laughs> to come here and talk to me like that." Disrespecting me in front of my family. Yeah, you got the fucking. I love the way they go, the fucking balls, and I'm like, yeah. Yeah. Fucking a whore. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's... <laughs> she was a... <laughs> she was a whore. <laughs> the other point you say it was like, whore. Uh, I was thinking of it as like whore, like, like who, comma, apostrophe, H-R, like R-E, damn, I can't spell no, it. That's like, what I was thinking. It's but. A who <laughs> and then raw. Like, you whore. We might have to take a look after. Just we to, will watch. Yeah, I apologize, everyone. I know no one cares about this shit, but it is. They care deeply. They they shouldn't. They should not when it comes to us. We're fucking stupid as shit. So kind of powerful mage. Better go down. The bleeding won't stop. He moved his heart to the end. It would seem your plan has failed rather badly. Damn. <laughs> That's her level of shit talk. It seems your plan has failed. Quite badly. <laughs> In fact, you need a hand. Or stomach. <laughs> Damn. But Friedrin won't make it out unscathed. Now she will. By this hour, I'm sure she and Lady Aura have begun to clash. Aura, Decades Aura. ago, we were forced to retreat by the party of heroes. But this time, she has no heroes to hide behind. I do admit your ally poses a threat to us. But her mana is no match for my lady's. If Freerun attacks her head on, she'll most certainly lose the fight. In that case, I have no doubt my mistress will win. She would never directly engage a demon, especially not one that's so powerful. She'll kill Aura by tricking her. Nonsense. That's so hot. Oh, this mage. Nonsense. Freerun the Slayer has never once fought us from the shadows. <laughs> that is that is a wild fucking take. She has never once fought us from the shadows. She That means that she slayed thousands of your kind. Mm -hmm. She's like she's like the hero of fucking Ishval. God damn, I love me a genocidal libertarian fucking queen. Yes! Why then do I feel something is wrong? This girl's mana is weak. Yet I was overwhelmed by the sheer number of her rapid attacks. Maybe it's not How weak, was then. she able to execute such powerful magic without exhausting her mana? I see. Is such a thing even possible? So Freerun does the same. Too afraid to fight fair. Both you and your teacher are a disgrace to the title of mage. I assure you, Mistress Freerun knows that better than anyone else. That's a good line. I don't think I would care if a demon told me that. Yeah, first off, you guys are a disgrace. You quite literally eat people and pretend like you have families just to get what you want. I don't... You don't have any fucking right to speak to me. Yeah, if anything, I'm taking that as just you just saying words once again. Yeah, you're a fucking pussy is what you are. Just sounds like you're mad because you're lost. What horrors await today? Ah, oh, God, dude. This is I don't know. Elven village. I don't know what elves. kind of hairstyle that is, but there is something about a woman with bangs like that, that swoop, that just fucking sends me back to the year 2014. Mm-hmm. It's a good look. It's a great look. God, she's even looking down on me. The Zelf the Throne. A general of the Demon King's army. He must have led his forces here to destroy this town. Speak up, girl. Was it you who killed him? You look near dead yourself. It was pretty easy. Good bit of mana you have there. You must be powerful. You took them head on, didn't you? A brute in disguise. That was a foolish mistake. I don't know why people prefer an honest playing field. Run or hide or take them by surprise. You're working both safer and smarter if you do. I can't understand the way strong mages think. Well, you should. Huh? You should understand exactly how I think. I'm certain 
You are far more powerful a mage than I. Damn. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> I am, I believe it or not, I am so much fucking better than you. I actually know everything there is to know about magic. People, people of this time, uh, worship at my feet. They call me the legendary mage. I actually passed that around. Yeah. I, hold on. Yeah, you know, it's kind of like uh, Childish Gambino or... <laughs> <laughs> or NWA, you know, they're not names that were given to me. I just, I just kind of found them on a a Wu Tang generator. <laughs> you heard the name before? I, I'm trying to get make that a thing. Yeah, I know, I know NWA what was before Wu Tang, but you know, same difference. Yeah. Damn. That's kind of dope. If I hadn't shown up, you would be sharing a grave with that demon. You failed to protect your village and nearly yourself. You would have died in vain. But luckily, I was there to assist. I mean, no offense, that's Loki an abusive tactic where it's like... Yeah. yeah I mean, Loki. I'm not saying she's abusive, I'm just saying that is... No. Oh, yeah, you're right. You're like, right. That is a tactic that an abuser would use. Being like, you're lucky if it wasn't for me, you would have died out there. And it's like, well... Yeah, yeah. Where's Fama, though? Yeah. Find us. These are stronger than the general you killed. Fascinating creatures, aren't they? They fully intended to catch us off guard by concealing their mana until just before they struck. But the moment they realized we were mages, they waltzed out into the open with grandeur. They are cunning, they never play fair. But every last one of them has a ridiculous sense of pride when it comes to magic. You may leave, human mage. Once you put down the elf girl, that is. And you'll let me go free if I do as you say. Massacre the elves, now. Those were the Demon King's orders. Your existence matters not to me. How thoughtful. Freely. You were right before. I'm painfully aware of how a powerful mage thinks. Much like I'm aware of how these creatures think. I know the absolute faith they have in these magics they've poured their lives into studying. In other words, I know they're an arrogant and overconfident breed. God damn. damn! That was hard. That was hot. Hard and hot? Is that a... That's a thing. Chat! I know we don't have a chat, but is that a thing? Can you be hard and hot? I think people use hot a lot as a as a synonym. I think, oh, I'm hot right now. You know. That's fair. I meant as in that look she gave was just did something to me. Yeah. Primal. I was mainly going at the line she she put, which was hard as fuck, and then we just see this yellow flash she's doing. Oh, we'll get the line again. I'm fine with that. Yeah. In other words. I know they're an arrogant and overconfident breed. Yeah. Oh, she gets her own shockwave. Cool. Don't tell me just like, ow. <laughs> your perception and quickly so, judged me a weakling. So why is that why weaker than ordinary words? offensive now? That, that just eviscerated them. Well, I think the idea is that the ordinary offensive magic is a penetrating magic. Mm. You know what I mean? So, like, it's going right at it rather than... Yeah. You know, I, I, yeah, you know, you mean, it's tough. Know. It's a, it's a tough look. Their overconfidence cost them their lives. As it should. By controlling the release of your mana, you hid your strength so they didn't see you as a threat. 
That's right. I deceive and kill my enemies by allowing them to miscalculate my power. It is a cowardly and unfair way to fight that makes a mockery of the art of magic itself. I just want to say, I don't think it's cowardly. No. I mean, they're, they're demons, so. Listen, as a staunch American, as I am, my my forefathers that I adopted, George Washington, mm. he hid in the trees and he fought unfairly, and that's how a fucking nation was born. Correct. So, I don't think it's unfair, alright? I just think if they're going to be stupid and underestimate you, well, they're, they're seeing your mana. That's on... They want to pick a fight that they can't fucking win. That's on them. That's not on me. Yeah, I'm allowed to... I mean, every every MC pretty much does it. They they do that heavily in Dragon Ball also, so I mean... Like, yeah. He hit his key. Yeah. That's, that's what you do. Which is correct. I mean, would it matter if they're both strong in general? Yeah. Like, you, if you're, you're not a good fighter, if you just overanalyze the situation... Underanalyze the situation. I'm pretty sure in Bleach, if Ichigo uses his full soul pressure, people die. I haven't seen Bleach, but yes. I... I I haven't seen Bleach either. I oh, just know that from... Okay. It's, <laughs> Bleach is one of those shows that I've started it five or six times, never could get the fuck into it. And I've heard it's because the first arc is dog shit, but every arc after that's really good. Huh. It's like one of those things. Um, but I knew that was a thing where it's like some characters, because there's like this thing called soul pressure, which is like key or mana or whatever. And it's like, if you have strong enough soul pressure, quite literally, if you do not have a defense against it, as in if you are not, if you have no idea that this exists, you just explode. Wow. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. I don't think that's a massive spoiler. I think that I think that's shown in, like, one of the first episodes. Oh, yeah, that seems like a, one of the general rule things that everyone's aware of. Yeah, so, like, my bad if it was for you. I, I No, that's fine. Just no. The, the one time it probably wasn't. <laughs> You're lucky. <laughs> wow. That's on me. I still love her hair. There's something about it, bro. You like it. Same with uh, and Hori Mia, the main chick. Whew, that hair. Your injuries are looking much better. I think I just like cute hairstyles. I would say it's time we begin your training. Plama? You mean like water that's... spiders? The demons took all that I've ever known from me. Me too. Yeah, they'll do that. I wish to eradicate every last one. Me too. But I love Genocide. magic. I hold great respect for it. You and I are the same. That's why we should be the only ones who can make a mockery of it. Protect it through cowardice. What do you suppose I should do to train? Try limiting the mana you release to one tenth of its typical volume. Impressive. You're controlling it well. I imagine any elf could do something so simple. While you do that, you'll spend time on fundamentals. Work to raise the base of your mana. Is that really all? Easy enough. Do I stop suppressing my mana whenever I feel like it, or whenever you tell me to? It'll get tiring if I do it for too long. You'll do it for as long as I have. For life. <laughs> if you can, you'll fool demon kind for the rest of your days. God. <laughs> Bro, I... Look at that slight smile. <laughs> like Very she, slight. She knows. Like, she fucking knows that she's going to win. It's going to be an easy win. <laughs> like, she's not even fucking phased. She's just like... Another 9 to 5, huh? She's like, I'm going to kill all of them. And it's going to be awesome. God, I love a genocidal libertarian trad cath waifu. God damn. I can't, I love, I can't wait by the end. There's going to be like 40 modifiers. Tax evading, libertarian, trad cath, fucking genocidal. I, I don't know what else. Elven, great style, great hair, fucking, I don't know. A lot. We can add on a lot that you can love about this. I get it. Bro, she looks like she just showed up for her first day of school. <laughs> Oh, 
Uh oh. Scales of a soul's She's been challenged before. I can tell that much from the mana overflowing from her body. She has no tricks up her sleeve, because demons don't conceal their mana. They can't Pussies. afford to. I pity you. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> that, that is a f That's such a hard fucking lie! I pity you. Sitting there in silence for a while. I assume what seemed like five seconds in real time, just to then say that. Dude, it goes incredibly hard. Wait one second. Ah, okay, it's being pretty responsive. I was yeah, worried good. about that. Yeah. Oh, Master. Hmm. Demons are quite cunning creatures, are they not? I so do like this backstory a lot. Constantly suppress their mana like you do. Hmm. I'm sure they would if they could. Demons are individualists by nature but form the frailest connections needed to stand a chance against humankind. The barest society needs what to function? Order, I suppose. That's right. Even an organization of monsters needs someone of importance to lead it. Humans need the same. Importance is determined by status and wealth. In our world, those who have both get to rule. Look at that well-dressed fellow leading the palace. He's clearly important. But humans have no innate way of showing that. So, for others to know he's someone of note, he has to put on the trappings of rank. So demons are different, then. Bro, is she say- First off, that is a <laughs> fucking adorable looking gong. But, like, bro, she's she's acknowledging the natural hierarchical- <laughs> Hierarchy of the fucking world?! <laughs> are you ta- Is she gonna sit here and start going over ethics?! Should we start going over democracy next? Oh fuck, dude! Democracy is cringe as fuck. Let her bring out. <laughs> I've said it before. I'll say. It. I'll keep saying it. Democracy is cringe. Read Aristotle. But like, he says, if you ever come across someone putting a two percent tax on natural goods, you got You got to do something about that. We don't like that. I, 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 it's awesome. She literally is just like. She's like, they need to have a hierarchy. That's the only way it works. <laughs> Quite literally, is just like, nah. Fuck everyone getting along. That ain't gonna happen. Nah. Flama the queen. Despite their performance of civilization, demons haven't changed a bit since beasthood. Might makes right. Far more straightforward than us humans. <clears throat> you can tell who's strong by looking at them. Through their mana? Mana is everything to their kind. I'm so sorry to constantly pause and do this, but do you know where might make right comes from? Or what? Where the phrase might makes right comes from? Where? It's a, it's a book written by like a German philosopher. Um, so like it's it's in Levy on Satanism and um technically technically like early Hitler writings. Mm. It was like it took a lot from like Nietzsche and whoever wrote might mix right. It's some other German philosopher, but like. And it's quite literally what it sounds like. It's like, the strong should be in charge. So as long as you are strong and you can have a domineering personality from, like, a physical strength aspect, you should be the person in charge. Now, mm. that philosophy ends up, like, going into other places because it can be like, well, what type of might are we talking? Are we talking, like, an intelligent might? Are we talking, like, a spiritual might? Like, it, it eventually gets expanded on and, like, put into... And it's, like, weird because then when people hear that where you're like, well, Satanism isn't, isn't about that. It's like, I'm not saying it is. I'm just saying it's interesting because the guy who founded it and, you know, was the leader of that church for a while was really big on the idea. Hmm. <laughs> um, but, like, it, it, like, goes into it. And, like, one of my favorite things to do is to, like, look at, like, the differences and, like, how 
um, philosophy like goes into like circles. Not that this like really matters, and I'm sure people watching this don't really fucking care, but like I care, so I'm gonna talk about it because nice. that's that's what I do when I care about something. So like I just found out the other day, really interestingly, um, like communism, and fascism, like actually stem from like Marx, both. And a lot of people think that, like, fascism stems from, like, a nationalistic perspective. And while it does, to a certain degree, it's more of, like, you have Marx, who started with, like, the Communist Manifesto and, like, that type of thing. Mm. You go North, and you get um, Lenin and Socialism, and then you get to, like, um, what the fuck is his name? Like, Stalin. And you're like, cool. That's, like, that's like one branch of, like, how that, like, escalated and went. The other one, it's this other guy, his name begins with, like, an S. And he took, like, Marx's ideas, and instead of doing a class struggle, because it's always, like, about classism, like, the rich and the poor, or whatever. <clears throat> yeah. He says that the way to, like, advance passes is to get rid of all classes. There is no wealthy or poor. There is just the nation. There is just, you are a citizen of your nation. And then Mussolini... Mussolini and Hitler expand on that and they're like there is only nation and as long as it serves the benefit of the nation you should be able to do whatever the fuck you want sacrifice whatever the fuck you want mm. it's interesting right like yeah. how like these ideas like can influence each other and like the way that they end up like growing and you can see the fruits of their labor from like the same thing so you could take the same sentence give it to a thousand people and like see the way that they expand on it and grow from it. Just think interesting. I yeah. I also think it's interesting how like those concepts can be brought up in a show like this. Yeah. You know. It's very cool. I know you don't necessarily care. Not I that just... I don't care. It's just it was interesting. I you were bringing up a lot of history I wasn't aware of, so yeah. it was it's, it's cool in general to think about that actually. Uh, people don't take me as a learned man, nor should they. <laughs> they don't take me as a learned man. <laughs> I don't think I've ever heard anyone use the word like that before. <laughs> That's quite learned. Uh, people don't take me as a learned man. They usually take me as a buffoon, which mm. I am. But, like, you know. Through their mana? I read. Mana is everything to their kind, much like status and wealth are to ours. It's dignity itself. Now there is a chance they may temporarily suppress their That's mana a good for shot. the sake of stealth. Yeah. But none are foolish enough to forfeit their standing to constantly suppress their power. It's the difference between a noble sneaking out into town in disguise and that same noble debasing themselves by abandoning their station entirely. Demons know nothing of charity and would never grant dignity to those with little mana. You could tell they really didn't want to animate all of that, so they just had to... They're like, you're going to read this monologue and we're just going to draw pretty pictures. Yeah. Their world is a cold and cruel one. So, the stronger an individual is, the more desperate they are to show it off. Unlike us, for them there's no benefit in constantly suppressing their mana. The thought doesn't so much as cross their minds. In a way, I pity them, just as we are bound by the places we live and the clothing we can afford. Demons are bound by mana. Magic is the very lifeblood of their species, but for all their unrivaled love for it, the poor fools can't even control their mana. Freerin, you're very lucky you aren't a demon. I know I am. I couldn't deceive them if I were. It's been three years since you began suppressing your mana. Damn. I suppose I was right about you after all. Flava just gets it, bro. You've grown much better at that. Now tell me. You Even in her old magic, age, don't you? That was rather out of the blue, Master. But yes, somewhat. Your confidence has waned over time. Long ago, you told me you loved the craft with fervor. It's only been fifty years since then. A smart girl. She's of age. <laughs> All this time, and the only thing I've taught my apprentice to do is fight. Magic fit for revenge. Is that something you regret? Not a bit. No one's better suited to hold on to the secrets of my magic than you. You're going to live a long life. Perhaps someday you'll become strong enough to defeat the Demon King. Freerin, 
I do have one request. What is it? All I ask is that you plant flowers around my grave. That doesn't seem like you. I know. Freyrin. I have a spell that creates a field of flowers. To tell you the truth, it's actually my favorite one. My parents taught it to me when I was a girl. It's what made me fall in love with magic. Hmm. And I'd like you to teach it to me. That's the one she used for Himmel. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's fucking cute, dude. Listen to me, Freyren. You must never seek to leave your mark on history. There's safety in obscurity. And once you've finally defeated the Demon King, rest assured the whole world shall know your name. Damn. And then she was alone. Now when does she look old? Like, at what age do it, does an elf start looking old? <laughs> I guess 300 years. I mean, that's, that's, that's like, what, 25 for them? Dude, she's just chilling. I kind of like this outfit a lot, though. Yeah. Like, it kind of, it looks good. And then a house building spell? Gotta do that, I guess, by hand almost? Probably. She probably just cut the wood. Yeah. Imagine living long enough to see a town become a country. I was just about to say that. Wow. And no one gives a shit. <laughs> I've heard a seasoned mage lives somewhere in these woods. Is that mage you? Seasoned in the sense I've been around, perhaps. But I've done precious little with my years. I would have... No I would have folded fucking immediately. Yeah. You saw, you hear that line, you're not going to be like, I want this. Well, he did try for about a good portion of a his decade, life. A decade, a yeah. decade he tried. He tried for a decade. And that's the problem. With a girl like this, you don't stop trying. Yeah, you, she said it, she has no emotion or yeah. urges. She has no urge for it, and that's why you got to be like, listen, I just need to be in your company. It sucks as you can't even relate to her. <laughs> she wouldn't even respond to that. What do you think, Hunter? Hmm. I would say she has approximately one-fifth of the mana I do. Fairly middle of the road. Way to make a first impression. Now move along. You don't have business with a mediocre mage, do you? No, but you're easily the strongest mage I've ever laid eyes on. And what would make you say that? Call it a hunch. I knew he was going to say her line. Yeah, dude, she's the duel. She's so into him. Ah, shit, my soul! She's taking my soul! Her soul is just black. Jeez, that is upsetting for her. Damn. You seem awfully happy with yourself. Are you so certain you'll win, Aura? We'll find Call it a hunch. Freerin the Slayer. Like it's been slain. 80 years since you made your first meaningful appearance in this world. With a party of heroes, you defeated the Demon King. Correct. one wonder just how long you've had to study your magic. Unfortunately for you, it matters not how many years you've managed to survive. Your mana tells me everything I need to know. I can see it clearly. There is no question you are an exceptional mage, but your mana itself is unimpressive. I would wager you've had no more than a hundred years training. Not only that, it's been 80 years and you haven't grown a bit. Mm. Are you honing other skills instead of increasing your mana? I've been learning how to cook. Your life today? Just as expected, you are absolutely no match for me. Oh no, whatever will I do? <laughs> As you can see, I win. Shit, shit, fuck shit. I shall consider it an honor to sever the head of the slayer myself. I'm shocked that it wasn't even necessary to exhaust her mana. I needn't have been so cautious. 
Though she did defeat a decent amount of my troops, I'll have to replenish them later. <laughs> What's this? Ah. The snails oh. are starting to take oh. her oh. Oh, oh. What, what the? You're the one who opted to gamble with my soul, Ara. <laughs> Idiot. <laughs> to tell you the truth, I would have been in real trouble if you had tried to overwhelm me with numbers. I'm grateful for your overconfidence when it comes to your mana. Now I can finally defeat you. Oh, can you now? You really should have figured it out. I've been suppressing my mana. A grave miscalculation on your part, Ara. Valiant last ditch effort, but there's no chance that could have escaped my notice. There wasn't a hint of the instability or variation in your mana output that comes with suppression. I'm surprised. Demons are capable of observing mana with such accuracy. Seems my master was right in her methods after all. I've spent the better part of my life in a constant state of suppression. Oh. It has become natural for me. Oh. You're dimmer than I Cat. thought. Why would you ever do something so foolish? <laughs> you can see her getting worried. You can see her being like, oh, fuck, yeah, dude. Sweat going yeah, down. she she knows she's fucked. Foolish, yes, but powerful. It lets me defeat your kind. Easily, by the way. This is absurd. I'm a great demon who has lived for over 500 years. Yeah. Ara. The one standing before you. Damn. Is a great mage who's lived for over a thousand. Oh, over a thousand. Her fucking mana takes up the whole goddamn field, bro. Jesus. Damn. Kriren, just as demons deceive mankind with their words, you must deceive them with your mana. Ara, kill yourself. <laughs> that is tough. This can't be. No. How could I ever? <laughs> Let's go! A decapitation! Let's fucking go! She didn't even just say, like, right, it's over. She just... <laughs> Kill yourself and walked away, dude. Holy Bro, shit. Bro, what is hotter than an elven bitch looking at turning around and saying kill yourself? Because she knows she's one. She's hyping herself up, too. That's the first I think she's shown motion besides yeah. crying at Himmel's grave. Quite literally, you what, you stand before a great mage. <laughs> she says, I am literally twice her age and more than probably ten times powerful. I've been practicing magic much longer than you've been alive. Get fucked. That was insane. That was amazing. The line that she delivered at the end was just the cherry on top. The kill yourself? Yeah. Yeah. I think we should bring it back. Yeah. I'll give a hot take. I don't give a shit. We should bring back kill yourself. I'm cool with it. We should bring back a lot of things. We should bring back kill yourself mostly, but like, here's, because here's the thing. If you're on the internet and somebody says kill yourself and you actually kill yourself, there's a lot going on at home, all right? Yeah, you shouldn't be online. Just you shouldn't be online, right? Yeah. I live in a constant state of being called a fat piece of shit because I exist on the internet. And I'm fine with that. I get it. But if someone said kill yourself, I wouldn't be like, you're right, I should. Like, yeah, that's... I'm not going to be like, you're, you're my 99th reason. Yeah, like, you're, you're it. You're, this was the camel that broke, you know... I mean, this was the straw that broke the camel's back. You know what I mean? Yeah. But, like... Maybe it's just because, like, uh, we're, we were born in that prime age of the internet where we were just, like, 13, 14, and then just online. Xbox we were Live. Just, we were just regularly on there. It's just shit. Oh, I've, I have been called every slur under the fucking sun, and it's sad. I it's, was called words. I didn't even know what they meant at the time. I was called things. I was told things about myself that I didn't even know. My self-esteem was at an all-time low, and I'd be getting on. And I'd be like, it's time to play some fucking Call of Duty, you know? And they'd be like, your mother never loved you, and you're the reason why your parents got divorced. And I'd be like, typical Tuesday. Yeah, 
I'd, and here's the thing. I'd be angry, obviously, because I'd be yeah. really sad about that. that and then thing. I went 0-12, and I would fucking mold. Yeah, and I mean, how, do they, how, do, how do they know this about me, first of all? <laughs> what on my profile is giving this away? All right, and, then, and then, like, you know, you get so angry. And, and I don't know, maybe the world's gotten worse because they decided to get rid of all the toxicity on the internet. Yeah. I don't fucking know. I'm a, sta- I'm, I'm a firm believer that just being able to be... Like, you need a space where you should be allowed to be fucking toxic. Mm. And I'm cool with that. Like, because one thing... Yeah, you don't want to harass fucking children. I get that. Mm-hmm. But if a game's rated M for mature, and you're, you know, theoretically, you should be 16 to 18 playing those video games. Agreed. I'm, like, because, again... I was 12 playing Grand Theft Auto. I shouldn't have been. I had to ask. I had to basically lie, cheat, and beg <laughs> just yeah. to get Call of Duty when I was, like, 11. Yeah, like, I wasn't of the right age to be playing those video games, mind you. I, I get that. Mm. But age ratings exist for a fucking reason. Yeah. Like, if I had children, yeah, I wouldn't take them to see Deadpool because it's rated R for, you know, adults. Yeah, aside from the, like, the, the blood and gore and that, like, there's just other things in there yeah like it's nothing it's nothing where it's like like i'm not a puritan about it where it's like it shouldn't exist i just like yeah it's an age range like would i want my 14 year old kid playing fucking call of duty i personally don't give a shit but i'm also like i need to know my 14 year old kid can be called the fucking you know names yeah yeah as long as he can take being called a bunch of horrible horrible things you just have to grow him to be strong (laughs) Yeah, because it's just you, like... If you grow a soft and you just slap them in a Call of Duty lobby, they are just they might be that person that just says, this is the reason I'm going to end it. Yeah, and that's tough. Yeah. I don't want that. No yeah. one wants that. No. No, no, no one wants that shit. I, I'm, playing, I'm playing League of Legends, and they're like, fucking quit, and I'm like, this hurts. This hurts a lot. Maybe I should. Yeah, I was told to... They told me the other day to uninstall the game. They said, you are so bad, uninstall the game. And I was like, bro, I couldn't... I was like, I don't even play a high DPS character. What the fuck did you want me to do? <laughs> like, like, what was I supposed to fucking do? I was like, my auto doesn't work that way. I didn't have any abilities. What the fuck do you want from me? Yeah, I'm doing my, I'm doing my best out here, boss. <laughs> yeah, and you're, and they're still shitting on me. And just like, if I was, if I, if I had less self esteem, yeah, it'd be bad. Mm-hmm. But the issue is that I don't. I got great self esteem. It's fake, but yeah. it, you know, it's there. Got a little bit of real estate in there. Yeah, you know. It's fake, but it's it's good enough. <laughs> but either way, I, I just think we should bring back Kill Yourself, all right? Agreed. Not legitimately. Like, I don't actually want anyone to kill themselves. I just think yeah. as a as a way of shorthand of just saying, go fuck yourself. You're unbelievable. What you're saying is annoying. And I hate you. Just kill yourself. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Call it a day. Uh, question of the day. What, sh- what, what phrase should we bring back? Hmm. Uh... Nothing overtly inappropriate, I would say. Don't don't go there, but yeah, if you, if you don't know to get around it, just like put some symbols over some letters. Just just bring it back, it. bro. Just bring it back. Yeah, bring back. Channel your inner fucking fourteen year old. <laughs> yeah, what were you shouting in those in those like Nuketown lobbies? And then we'll go from there. Yeah, but uh, like, comment, share, subscribe, and have a good one. Bye bye.